Right, so let's get this thing stripped back. Originally, this was insulated and soundproof, but we're gonna rip it all out and replace with a more modern, a little bit better option. So I found one of the key things, people insulate this section, this section, but this is a large space. And it, it was only um, last camp, I saw a camper van parked up, and when it was sub-zero, you could actually see the lines between the panels where the, the cold and the condensation was going through. So it shows that if you don't insulate them sections, you're done. A lot of people freeze or put some um, expanding foam in there, which I wouldn't mind so much on a really old van, but on a van like this, it'll expand and find its own space. Yeah, but it still expands even when it started to cure. So if it's cured and it expands a bit more, he's gonna push out the only way he can, which is gonna be your panels that give, not the buttresses. So if you've got nice paintwork, you can get a bit of that. So take your time and just finger it in them holes. What can I say? With a bit of experience, you might get onto a bit of fisting. It's the only remaining rock that you can see. It's just the dregs that's been glued to the panels. However, if you've uh, been following along, you'll know that there's going to be windows and flares going in this section, so that's all going to be cut out anyway. So, the next big bit to come out is the bulkhead. So as you can imagine, this is bending the crap out of the bulkhead. If you're wanting to sell this, take the seats out or what have you, and then get to the other side. Personally, for the 20 quid or something that I'm gonna get for this, my labour costs more than that to take the seats out and put them back in again. So, we're gonna bend this and put it in the scrap pile. I just want to say a massive thank you as well. On the last video, um, I said about if you could please like not skip too much and drop a comment and a like and stuff, it helps the analytics. Loads of people did that, loads of positive feedback and it is very much appreciated because it does get a bit tedious reading through all the comments of all the know-it-alls and everything. So, thank you. So apologies on how hit and miss and like all over the place this video is. I had limited time with the weather being decent, no rain, no wind, anything like that to get as much done as possible. So I've tackled it as best I can and the filming came second on this, which I'm sure you'll have picked up on. It's not so much a how-to video like say the snorkel video or something like that. It's more just to document, you know, how this came together. So there we go, the floor's out, uh, it's one of them things, this is a nine year old Mercedes Sprinter, Sprinters are known for rusting, luckily I got a silver one, um, and if you get a coloured Sprinter, the paint is thicker and they are better protected than the white ones, don't ask me why, uh, but for some reason Mercedes put thinner paint on the white ones. What I'm going to do now, we're going to give this a sweep out, we're going to give this a clean, the areas where there has been bolts and things through previously, uh, and there's a bit of rust just started, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the wire brush, going to get the drill and everything, the grinder in, get it back to bare metal, rush treat it, give it a spot of paint, uh, we're going to insulate all the floor, we're going to get the wood floor back down again, um, and yeah, then we can start rubberizing the floor, getting all the trim on the walls, getting the cable in, and that's when you're going to start to see a massive difference and things are going to really, really move on. This is the tedious, boring, time-consuming, zero satisfaction, um, just no, no kind of reward for your efforts. As soon as this bit's done and you've got the trim on, that's when you start to spend more money, but you start to see more results and things get really, really exciting.
then what I'll do, I'll screw the uh, drill down into there, and then that stops the side to side movement. But that is a solid bed base. What we'll do then is on the underside of these, we'll make some little tabs that will go down onto these buttresses, whatever you want to call them, and same again, it'll drop on, can't move side to side, uh, and we'll get the wooden lats together. So although those brackets are a little bit overkill, they're a little bit big, um, you might think, oh, one bolt's not enough, this, that, and the other. However, they are the original fastening points for the grab handles to pull yourself into the vehicle. So, by using those, I, I like to use original factory fittings because you'll know they're going to be pretty sturdy. We fitted that to there, we're going to make the little tabs for the brackets in the middle and then like I said before, it's a 4 foot 6 bed and I want a 4 foot small double. We'll get the lats that are 4 foot 6, there's um, two sets of them so what we'll do is to get the 6 inches gone uh, we need 3 inches off of both sets so an inch and a half off either side gives us the 4 foot double. Um, happy days, it is that simple. So there we go, we've got the old insulation out, a bit of the new insulation in, we've insulated under the floor, we've ground back the rust, we've rust proofed it, floor back in. Next step is going to be the rubberized floor that goes over the top of this one and then get all them panels all clad in with all the wires behind. And with any luck, by the time this video is out, the glass should have come and I can have the pop top and the flare sides fitted and then that's when the big difference is going to come along. So don't forget to subscribe and follow if you want to see more of this. So as you can see, the lats are still uh, an inch and a half off of each end that I need taking off, six inch in total, uh, as well as that, just lopping just on the end round where the door frame is, and uh, jobs are good on that one. So if you're wanting a cheap, kind of universal, one size fits all kind of bed, IKEA, check out the specs and see if it works for you.